Hi guys, I'm Master Pussin. This is the video of how I manage the Nuzlocke Pokemon by Red Hardcore with only Water Type Pokemon. The rules of the Hardcore Nuzlocke are simple. I must play on set mode, level caps in play. If a Pokemon faint, he is dead and I can't use it. No items in battle and one encounter per road. There are 12 Water Type Pokemon available before the post game. Here are the Water Type Pokemon available to me for this run. But obviously, as you know, you can only get one fossil, which means no cap. So let's start the challenge. I begin my journey in Palette Town, and of course, I pick up my starter, Skirtle, which I nicknamed Turtle, cause why not? He is timid, plus speed, minus attack, pretty good, and I barely beat the rival. It's time to fight, bro, cause there is no new encounter before the first gym. The plan is simple use water gun and defeat the geodude geodude and onyx are four time weak to water so it's an easy first team obviously onyx outspeed and hit me with a very weak tackle before i kill him with water gun after that turtle evolved to a bigger turtle war turtle i met a guy a weird guy that want to sell me a fish for 500 poke dollars cause i am in need for a water type i accept the offer and i get a magic carp which i nicknamed his name when he evolves he will be an important team member for this nutlock time to fight misty who is the master of water type okay my magic carp evolved to a beastly gyarados i decide to lead with his name to get an intimidate of a new tackle because of my huge physical attack stat bite is a special move in gen 3 don't forget time to fight her ace pokemon starmie i decide to use bite because it's super effective but she outspeed and hit me with a swift that did 12 h but my bat does around 40 percent which means it's just a question of time until my sea snake sends starmie to her owner he desperately uses the super potion but the fight is clearly in my favor which means i am the master of water types pokemon sea snake is a beast and i don't think this run would be possible with it it's already time to fight my rival in nugget bridge i decide to lead with turtle and use my brand new move water pulse that i received from misty it does more than half and i get the 25 percent confusion nice no priority quick attack this turn which means i can finish pidgeotto with a stab water pulse my rival decides to send out his starter but thankfully, sea snake is part flying, which means he takes natural damage from grass type moves. I decide to switch to him to get an intimidate while he misses his 75% sleep powder, and I decide to use tackle that does a little bit less than half and manage to dodge a least seed. Next turn, I use tackle, being the footage. I should use bite to try to get a flint. Anyway, he manages to put me to sleep this time. And since the chest berry is not available yet, I have to pray for an early wake up. But vine whip slowly lower my health. I need to wake up. Finally, I wake up till this annoying bull battle. That was close. Then came Abra, which I can just one shot with super effective bite. He sent out his final Pokemon, Ratata, which I can beat with two tackles. Clean rival fight. Thanks Girados. It's time to fight the rival in the SSN, but this time he got a much harder team and I only have access to two Pokemon yet. I click Water Pulse and I do more than hard. He hits me with the Sand Attack, but thankfully I managed to kill him with another Water He sent out Ivysaur next. And I decide to go to Sea Snake cause it's my only option. Bite does around 20% and I get a lucky flinch. Just one more and I should be good. And the next turn I manage to get a miracle critical hit that also flinches. Sorry Blue, it's not your day. He finally manages to put me to sleep and get critical hit. I need to wake up this turn or I will be dead to critical hit. And I wake up and kill Ivysaur. But the fight is not over yet, he sent out Raticate that hit me with the massive Hyper Fang. But thanks to the level advantage, I did pretty well. I used the move Brick Break that I just picked up from the SSN to one shot the big rat. It's time to fight Kadabra that now has confusion. I managed to hit a bite to almost kill it. After he uses Disable and I finish him next turn. Now it's time to fight the electrical gym leader. I have a plan but it needs some luck. I have the TM dig which is 60 base power ground type move but the problem is that Surge likes to use double team. I click dig and thankfully he doesn't use double team which means I land my move and push him to the red. I was expecting to get a one hit KO but my jewel 
truly nature minus attack doesn't allow me to do that i know that next turn he will heal so i decide to click water pearls which actually does a lot he hits me with a shock wave and i managed to kill it next turn with a stab water pearls one out of three and the right two is still waiting for me in the back he sent out pikachu next and i know that i can outspeed and kill with dig maybe a water pearls can kill it time to fight right two i can't switch to gyarados since he is four time weak to erika move turtle can take a non-critical hit shock wave and Rachu can use double team as well this is what happens i need to hit a 75 percent accuracy move otherwise it's the end of the net slot i dug a hole in the ground and pray i need to hit him please yes oh my god oh my god yes and it's a critical hit by Rachu. at celadon city i pick up a new encounter an EV that I nickname Poseidon. I can evolve it right away using a water stone to get a majestic Vaporeon. Time to fight a recount. But thankfully, I have now access to Ice Beam that I get from the game corner. I decide to lead with Poseidon against her Victory Braille and I use an Ice Beam. Thanks to my good special defense, I should be able to take any grass type move. But you would never know what happens. I get another critical hit. You can see my face on the live reaction. I was so happy. Tangela is at level 24 which means she is dead to a nice beam Try to find via plume and I decide to say and clink ice beam again and I don't know what to say but I get another critical hit look at this happy boy he can't believe what just happened as a water master I need some tools to begin my journey I first received the good rod from a fisherman then the super rod from another fisherman since they give access to different pokemon I need both of them I catch a polywag on route 4 and I decide to fight my rival in the seal corporation the level cap is 43 for both Koga and Sabrina so I need to be careful I lead with sea snake to get an intimidate and fry this bird with a thunderbolt that I also buy from the game corner cause Gyarados doesn't have the best special attack it's a 2 hit KO next it's his own Gyarados this is why I have thunderbolt it's 4 times super effective and it's 1 hit KO then it's Growly that gets a second intimidate on me but I have now served to one shot this little dog for Alakazam I use his strength cause he has pretty bad physical defense even at minus 2 it should be a 2 hit KO the big threat the Venusaur minus 2 attack I need to switch but you will never guess what I decide to do I decide to hit him with the strength and I manage to get another critical hit bypassing my attack drop and finish him the next turn I receive a Lapras and it's time to fight Giovanni I disrespect Giovanni I solo sweep his team with Gyarados without healing Gyarados is the king of the water type it's time to fight Sabrina the plan is simple Poseidon can learn Shadow Ball that I built from the game corner which is physical in this gen and can one shot Kadabra thanks to Poseidon massive special defense I'm not at risk at all bye bye Kadabra next is Mr. Mime with outsped and killed by a shadow ball against Venomoth one shadow ball and one surf gets the KO future side came but it barely hurt my Poseidon time for the Alakazam but Poseidon high special defense will allow him to take even a critical hit and shadow ball is a guaranteed KO for Koga I decide to lead with Lapras I give him the TM Psychic which is super effective against poison type Pokemon thanks to his pretty high special attack and the twisted spoon that I stole from a wild Abra he can one shot the first coughing with the super effective Psychic next is Merc we need two Psychics to be dead but I managed to get another Another critical hit. Next is Coughing, who is dead to a critical hit Psychic. And finally, it's Wheezing, but I need to hit two Psychic to kill him. But at this point, the fight is over. I can't take a self destruct. I can't be crit. Thanks to my ability, Shell Armor, the fight is over. Time for Blaine. I pick up some Mystic Waters from the game corner. My plan is simple set up the rain and sweep. Stab super effective Mystic Water boost set by the rain surf. Same for Giovanni, I didn't even need to set up the rain, 
blastos can outspeed and one shot everyone with the mystic water i defeat the team rocket and giovanni give me the juicy earthquake tm now it's time to become champion but before that there is a final rival fight i ice beam the pidgeot with lapras holding the never melted ice surf the rhyhorn then i ice beam the venusaur with lapras and finish him with gyarados using strength after taking a razor leaf thunderbolt twice the gyarados surf the growlith and surf the alakazam because i got an attack drop due to intimidate from growlith and get another critical hit so funny here is my final team for the elite four HT Poriwrat holding the black belt that I stole from a Karateka with water absorb. He has Surf, Earthquake, Ice Beam and Brick Break. Then Sea Snake, the Gyarados with Intimidate, Dragon Dance, Strength, Surf and Thunderbolt for the opposing Gyarados. Then Shell Armor Lapras holding the Twisted Put from Bruno with an Ice Beam, Rain Dank, Psyche Cancer. Then Tentacruel with Giga Drain, Ice Beam, Surf and Acid. He has a high special defense and good speed. He is brave and he is holding the miracle seed to boost Giga Drain damage. And the two others still got the same moveset. Time to enter the Elite 4. First is Lorelei, the Ice Type Gym Leader. The level cap is 54 for Lorelei. I will allow myself to use rare candies between the fights. Otherwise, I need to enter the league at level 60 to match Lance 8 Pokemon. I lead with Porirat and use Tab Super Effective Black Belt Boosted Brick Break. It's not even close. Lorelei uses hail. On the next turn I use brick break again knowing that she will use a full restore but the fight is over. On the slow bro I decide to switch to Poseidon who has shadow ball and high special defense. For good measure I decide to toxic him in the first turn for more cheap damage with the hail. Then I use a shadow ball while he's stuck using amnesia. Don't know why. The next turn I outspeed and finish him with a super effective shadow ball thanks to the poison chip damage while he uses Vion. Against Closter I switch to Sea Snake and knowing that Closter cannot hurt Gyarados I decide to set up Dragon Dancings while he uses Protect and Hail and while I get the leftovers recovery every turn. Plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. Plus 6 and I am at full health, I can start the sweep. Thunderbolts against the Cloyster cause he has a very bad special defense. And strength against the Jinx and the Lapras to finish the first Elite 4 fight. Next it's Bruno. I decide to lead with Lapra, surf the Onyx, take a Sky Percut from it motion, then switch to Sea Snake that resists Sky Percut and set up Dragon Dances before sweeping the rest of the team with Gyarados after taking a critical hit Rock Tomb that almost killed me. One strength for Machamp, another one for Hit Machamp and Surf for Onyx, bye bye Bruno. Next is Agatha, the Ghost Elite 4 member. She can be pretty tricky with her Gengars. I decide to lead with Poseidon and use Shadow Ball against the level 50 Gengar, then kill the Golbat with Ice Beam after she confused me with Confuse Ray and hit me with Air Slash while I hit myself with the Confusion Toy. Against the Arbok, I send out Lapras and use Trip Psychic while he hits me with Sludge Bomb and even manages to get a poison. I switch to Tentacruel on the Gengar to take a Sludge Bomb, then I click my best move, Surf Hoping to to eat KO but he manages to put me to sleep with the hypnosis the following turn he uses nightmare so i need to switch i have no other choice i switch to sea snake to get an intimidate which is pretty useful cause shadow ball and sludge bomb are physical moves i get a special defense drop that actually doesn't matter and i serve while he was using shadow ball hoping he wouldn't put me to sleep against the hunter i switch to turtle and he trapped me but i'm pretty bulky and i managed to 1v1 the hunter while she uses her last full rest of time to fight the dragon master lens i decide to lead with sea snake to Thunderbolt to Gyarados. It's not a one shot. Knowing that she will heal, I decide to set up a sweep with Gyarados. I use the first Dragon Dance, which means I am at plus one. Neutral attack, plus two, plus three, plus five, plus six, and I decide to start the sweep. And you think the fight is over? Aerodactyl gets a critical hit. Rest in peace. not over, I sent back Poseidon to revenge his king, he killed Aerodactyl with a nice beam and then killed the first Dragonair with never melted ice, super effective ice beam. The second one dies as well, then it's time for the Dragonite, but Poseidon outspeed and revenge the Sea Snake with a 4 times super effective ice beam. Thanks Poseidon. 
It's not over yet. It's still one fight between me and becoming champion. This is my last fight. The most difficult fight against my rival Blue. I made my last preparation and entered the champion's room. He pretends to be the most powerful trainer in the world. Let's find out. He sent out Pidgeot. I decide to lead with Poseidon the new king of the sea. After the death of Sea Snake. I killed the bird with super effective stab never melted ice beam. Don't know if the critical hits matter. He sent out Venusaur. But this supposed best Pokemon trainer in the world forgot to learn a grass type move to his Venusaur beside Solar Beam. Which means if I just attack with Ice Beam I have no way of losing. He uses growth and an Ice Beam does more than half and throws him to finish him. The freeze is unnecessary since he has only solar beam to deal damage. Then he sent out Alakazam, but thanks to my high special defense, he can't kill me even with a critical hit, which means I can kill him with a super effective shadow ball before he uses two full restores. Then it's time for Raidon, which I can outspeed and kill with a four times super effective stab surf. He sent out his own Gyarados, which Lapras can handle with Thunderbolt thanks to the Magnet. Finally, he sent out Arcanine as the water type master. I need to finish the last Pokemon with Elegance. I use Rain Dance before switching to my starter Turtle, who has been with me since the beginning. And he came to kill the Arcanine with the stab super effective Rain Boosted Mystic Water Surf. I am officially the water master of pokemon fire red and champion of the kanto region this is how i beat pokemon fire red hardcore nuzlocke by using only water type pokemon this was a pretty easy challenge i am doing more hardcore nuzlocke challenge live on youtube and twitch before posting the final video if you want to support me you can subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitch and instagram link in the description below that was master pussy peace